banned for Sikh blasphemy? Indian government orders hosting service to block blasphemousart.com. So, guys, um, if you are familiar with us, you would be familiar with our Blasphemous Art Project. And we host our Blasphemous Art Project on blasphemousart.com. And last Sunday, I was going to our website to go upload a new art. And when I was going to go do this, um, it, I suddenly, I got this message. The site can't be reached. I was like, what's going on? So we investigated and <laughs> our hosting service for our domain name told us that we were banned for abusive behavior and that an order from the government of India was involved. Uh, people were saying achievement unlocked. So this is outrageous and ridiculous on multiple levels. Wait, I, I wrote this all out. Let me find what I wrote. Um, Armin, do you have Im any immediate reactions to this? Um, I was I I was told that the Sikhs are the most tolerant ones. I, I, I was told I, I was told wrongly, but this is again this is the Indian government coming at us uh, at our website. So they're coming after everything, right? They, they came out of their, our Twitter. So even your website. Remember, we told you guys that even your websites are not safe. The URL has been banned. The URL has been banned. This is why you need to get on our newsletter. Newsletters are the only safe spaces that you, you will have contact with you forever. And nobody could take this from us. You know why? Because it's stored on our drives. Like nobody can take that away. So you need to subscribe to our newsletter. But god damn it these people are sensitive like they are they have how long has it been they have still not given up on us almost still a week coming at us. yeah they're legal oh, no, they no, have, since the beginning of the blasphemy scandal two years yeah this for two years they're like the people are like oh guys let it let it go they are they're not, they're not giving up okay like and it, imagine the power that they have because other but guys uh, the Muslims who get offended of us, they don't have these powers. Okay, there's nothing they can't. They're, they, they're just going. The only, I mean, they have. That's why they have more violence on their side because they don't have access to mega corporations, right? Like the Hin India. So the power that Hindus have when they get offended is that they have a country, a, the world's largest political party, to go out and legally challenge Facebook, Twitter. And now are a hosting website, right? They legally challenged this company that was giving us this URL to ban us. And they they submitted. They were like, this is illegal, but according to them. And we're like, what's illegal? And they, again, this is an American company. This is an American company. Actually, that's not true. Or what is it? They okay, have an office in America. They're based in Lithuania. Okay, okay. Western European, Western company telling us that our website has been banned specifically them saying us not us because we offended Sikh sensibilities we offended Sikhism we offended we went after Sikhism so this means that you could lose your websites if you upset Sikhs you if oh, if, if if you say something against Sikhism you don't have a you can have not you and you you could lose your website like not your Facebook account, not your Twitter account, not your YouTube, your website itself, You the website that's supposed to be your home. Like, I don't know if people understand, content creators are, to, are told that if you don't have a good website, you're living on rented space because you could lose your Facebook, you could lose your Twitter, you could lose your YouTube. But if you have a website, you're safe. Work on your websites because that's your own. N that, wrong. Your website is not safe e either based on the crime on being... Speaking against Sikhism and having art against Sikhism, that could get you lo to get, lose your website. That's insane. This is supposed to be some of the safest place, like an online environment. Your website is supposed to be unlosable. And we knew that that's not true. We knew that they could come even for that. But to, to lose it over this, over Sikhs, over Sikhism? By the way, what was, what's the art? We should show the art. Should we show the art? Yeah, okay, or we could lose our YouTube account. Okay, guys, we have... You can find the art on our Patreon. So wait, actually, let's back up. So yeah. 
the, the so <laughs> let's 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 break down exactly what they told us. So part of the response that the most important part of this response that we received from the hosting service was quote, after I checked from my end, I see that your domain blasphemousart.com is suspended due to an abuse report. The report states that you display content, which is affecting the religious feelings of the Sikhs community. And the same is offendable under relevant sections of the law in India, which violates our terms and service. Do keep in mind that the decision of unsuspension remains unchanged in this case. We are rooting for a safe internet. So as as we received a report from higher authorities, we can't unsuspend your domain. So you're telling me that you received an order from Indian authorities regarding our blasphemy against the, the Sikh sacrilege. So this is in reference to an artwork we did, I think was called Sikh Foot Worship. You can find this on our Patreon. And it is of a Sikh woman um, sexily rubbing her feet on the Guru, Gr Guru Granth Sahib um, while there is like a guy standing above the, the book. Um, and we, this is, we, we have only had one art. We have only had one Sikh related art. And this is what they come after. And then so I was, I was writing about why this made me so mad. So I want to read what I wrote. So according to this message, they received a complaint from the Indian government regarding this content. And instead of blocking this domain solely in the Indian market, as has happened to us many times by now, they globally banned us. This is outrageous on many levels. One, we are not Indian citizens, nor within the country, and therefore not subject to Indian jurisdiction. Two, this company, based on my research, does not have any offices in India and therefore is not subject to Indian jurisdiction. Again, I'm not aware that's my understanding. Three, they took this action against us without any prior notification or attempt to have us voluntarily remove the content that resulted in a total global ban. And four, they are literally enforcing blasphemy laws beyond India's borders. Okay, first of all, okay, I, um, I'm going to make sure that we resend this specific art to our newsletter subscribers, okay? We, we send art to our newsletter subscribers every week, so you have to be on our newsletter to, to get our art, okay? And that, that you will always get our art, so make sure you're there, okay? But this specific art will be resent to our newsletter subscribers, so make sure you get on our newsletter right now if you want to see Link it. Link in the description. Link in the description. Also, another thing is that I want Hindus for support over this against India's decision. You know why? Because we did this for you. We did this for Hindutva because we were told that by Hindutva that we are cowards because we go after what's easy, which is Hinduism, but we would never dare go after Sikhism. They were, we were challenged by Hindutva to go after Sikhism, okay? And when we eventually made our uh, Sikhism art, there were some Hindutva that were like, respect, we didn't expect you to do this. We didn't think you would go there. But apparently you go after every religion. It's true. Like we thought that you have a vendetta over Hindu Hinduism and you guys are pretending to be against every religion. There are some Hindutva that were convinced are like, okay, you guys are not hindu phobes you guys are just anti-religion as a whole and you have proven yourself bravo carry on we'll support you okay so we did this for you the people who asked for that so you need to now come out and be like this is insane this is crazy it's just the art it's just an art i can't believe that people could just lose their entire website over just art okay by the way i highlighted a whole bunch of uh, and do it for people who are supporting us in the live chat. So do you want to uh, highlight that? And I start them. Okay. I just put the link to subscribe to our newsletter twice in the description in the live chat. So I expect all of you guys to go sign up to our newsletter because like Armin said, this is the only place where we can be sure to contact you. No one can take you from us if you're on our newsletter. <laughs> um, and you can also find it at atheistrepublic.com slash newsletter. Um, 
<laughs> Satya is saying, damn, I don't like what you do, but I support your rights. I'm in Dupfa, by the way. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, yeah. Vishas is saying, I want the Blasphemy Lava book too. I'm a BJP supporter. Um, and uh, <laughs> Satya is coming out full force. I want more Blasphemy. I'm in Dupfa. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of like that Twitter meme. It's like, I want more blasphemy and I'm Hindu, but yes, we exist. I'm valid. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving me that energy. <laughs> Acknowledge us. We're valid. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, this was absolutely outrageous. Um, and please join our newsletter. It's also difficult for us because we have put in a lot of effort into building this website. We've had it for almost two years. A lot of the marketing of how we promote our Blasphemous Art Project is intricately tied to this website. It, it like so much, hundreds of hours of work has gone into it. Um, promoting it and it's you know also how we get support on patreon and um so this is substitutes you know a hit to the revenue that we can generate to support the programming that we do and that's something that we're definitely concerned about as an organization so if you guys want to support us um please consider supporting us on patreon or you can donate via paypal and there's lots of other options um in that you can check out in the description below um it means a lot to our organization um especially because one of our major ways of you know uh, fundraising is through this um do you have anything you want to add in regard to that, Armin? I just want to read some other starred comments. So if you want to read okay. them, I'll... Forever Stormy is saying, did Sikhs actually complain or is the government using them as a fig leaf? We don't know. The company is just telling us that they received a report from higher authorities to do with this community because it violates their laws. That's all. I mean, know. if the Sikhs didn't come, why we have so much uh, Hinduism related art, why are they focusing on the Sikh one? Right. If this is this is coming from India, we have we have only one Sikh art. We have countless number of Hindu arts, and the the legal way they went after the websites is the one Sikh art. Well, how? Why? Our website was this website was already blocked in India under Section sixty nine A of the IT Act. Yeah, you didn't have access to it in India. So why are you blocking it? How is India? How is India is like? has influence outside of its borders where it's deciding like we're not getting this website but we want Me, other people you. other people outside of india like india's government is has is making it are able to block content to other people outside of india and they cannot say like oh well people in india were also seeing it as well no you already had win that won that battle i don't understand okay so there's that Okay, so Nanda is saying this is Hindus have no power, but Sikhs have power to influence. Well, Hindus have a lot of power, but I agree, Sikhs have. Yeah, because we've primarily been battling them for the past two years. Yeah, that's no, been the Sikhs... main source of our problem for the past two years. <laughs> okay, let me. Instance. I know, but like to be fair to Nanda, it's true that it seems like offending Sikhs is like a bigger no-no a way bigger no-no in india than any other groups okay you could like you could offend you know hindus or muslims but that like that's such a red line that's a, yeah, all of these are red lines but that's the ultimate red line most people See, are way too scared yeah. <laughs> but we had I'm, no chill <laughs> what yeah <laughs> we just went like, yeah that's why when we uh, went after it a lot of people were in india were like we we didn't expect you would go going there. Actually, we're so surprised of how like the of the fact uh like for us this is not a red line at all. We were like enjoying the facts uh, that to see that so many people were being surprised because in India it's such a taboo and for us it's not a taboo. So for us it was so easy to cross that line and it was just so amusing to see for so many people from India just watching us like 
I can't believe you went there. Right? So. <laughs> they done did it now, boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, some people are saying Hindutva supports Armin. Well, I appreciate Amen. the support. Uh, and I, I, well, he, most of them. <laughs> well, some of them do. We appreciate it. ABC, how to support you on Twitter? How support? Um, We've been banned everywhere from Twitter. I've been banned from Twitter. Armin has been banned from Twitter. Atheist Republic, the largest atheist account on the platform, was banned on Twitter for reasons that they still haven't told us. Find us. Uh, you can support us on Twitter by finding us someone at Twitter who we can talk to to get our account back. How about that? Yes, yes, yeah. Tweet at people. Or just follow us on Secular Jihadist. How about that? Follow Secular Jihadist account. Imagine banning art, though. I mean, that's what religions do, right? It's religion. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.